us a surprise. I know you can do it. I've been waiting for you. Please, spin a thread of memory for me. Forgive me, my successor. I promised that I would defend you as your attendant. It was my duty, but I could not prevent your frenzy. In the end, I failed you. I could do nothing more than watch as your death finally came for you. I why was I even here? What purpose did I serve? I... This attendant lost their successor to frenzy, and then succumbed to it themselves. If all we can do is stand by and watch, while we lose the ones we've been charged to protect, then does our presence serve any purpose? As attendants, what good do we do? I've been waiting for you. Please, spin a thread of memory for me. To ease your suffering, even if it is only by the smallest amount, then I would gladly sacrifice myself to do so. After all, that is the duty with which I have been entrusted. It is my reason to be. For now, and always, mistaken? That's a powerful sound. Not understand. The actions you've chosen to take, they can bring nothing but further disaster to this land. I cannot allow that mistake to repeat itself a second time. Stand by their side and attend to them. That is enough. It is the duty with which we have all been entrusted. If you lose your way, 
If you take one false step, it will lead to that same result. That's not true. Yes, as attendants, it may be that we were all born from Cruz's weakness. But we are not all identical to one another. Our experiences are unique. Through our journeys, I have experienced the memories of so many different people. I have witnessed the passion with which they lived their lives. And what I've found for every single one of those people is that they fought as hard as they could to survive. They pushed themselves for the sake of others to keep living. It didn't matter if they had lived as a human or if they had lived as a revenant. They still struggled on. It was the same for the successors, just as it was for so many of our poor sisters. I do not wish to cling to a futile mission out of fear and let myself stand by, hoping for a peaceful ending. I will struggle. I will fight. Against Cruz's sin, and against my duty. To be complete. Io, it's true, there does seem to be something different within you. Something that sets you apart from the other attendants. Very well. I bequeath all to you. And so, I beg of you. Please, save everyone. We try opening it? We go together. Let's move. There's a lake of blood below. Watch your step. We can rest here. How do you like exploring with me? Watch yourself. Leave this to me.
No. Silva has lost control of the relic. What's wrong? Silva is pulling in the relics. I refuse to let the world end here. I swear, I will stop this! Don't have a lot of time. Hey, kid, can you handle this?
It's all right. Hey! Huh? Eo! In the end, no matter who I may be, even if I serve as little more than an empty vessel, You have stored so many precious memories inside of my heart, and I promise I will never allow them to fade away. Whatever happens, I will always be with you. Just as you will always be within my heart. And now, goodbye.
In the years after Eo stopped the relics from frenzying and transformed into the Weeping Tree, Karen and the others discovered a reliable source of blood beads. And the question I've pondered for so long, what as a revenant can I do? What about the outside world and the horrors there? We analyzed the signals intercepted from outside when the Red Mist appeared. There were countless cries for help. As revenants, we prey upon humanity. We might bring them nothing but misery. Even so, I can't just give up. We finally secured a steady supply of blood beads. Once again, we have Eo to thank. On the day she took all of the relics, I was suddenly my old self again. And ever since then, she's been producing blood beads and even maintaining the Red Mist. So even if it's only a little, I want to make it so people can have normal lives in this world she's protecting for us. That's my wish. I plan to start research with Karen that will hopefully lead to methods for controlling thirst and revenants. I don't know if we'll ever find an answer, but I'm sure it will lead to better lives in the Jail of the Mists. It would be nice if Louis could work with us. All the power was sucked right out of my body. I was so big and strong. But now look at me. But now Jack's training me to grow strong again. I don't see Mia as much as I used to, but I always feel close to her, even when we're apart. I think it's because we respect each other so much now. I miss her, but a knight has his duty. documents from the Great Collapse, and the more I read, the more I understand why those creatures are called horrors. They're immune to even the most powerful weapons, and immortal like the loss that plagued the Jail of the Mists. Now I understand why revenants had to be created. The situation was that dire. And the horrors are still roaming the outside world. It must be incredibly difficult living out there. The Relic's power created the Weeping Tree, thanks to Eo's wish, and there's no sign of the Queen coming back. It must have taken a strong will. We are ordinary revenants without the power of the Relics, but our mission still remains. As long as I live, I will continue to watch over that power, together with Jack. There are no changes in the Weeping Tree. It's completely normal. Don't worry. If anything happens, I swear I'll do everything in my power to stop it. Meanwhile, it's time we both do what we need to. My mission as a Watcher has ended, but my duty to protect the world still remains. I won't allow the hell here to escape and torment those outside. I'm glad to see that things have calmed down a bit here. Although Louie's worried again. Are the two of you ever satisfied? You finally earned some peace, so why not enjoy it? Well, whatever you choose, I'll go along with you. Do what you feel is right. Today I invited Yakumo to work for the provisional government, but he turned me down outright. Sorry, but just like you've got things you want to do, I've got things I want to do too. Yeah, he hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> well, I didn't want to work for them at first, either. After a while of fighting to survive, I noticed I'd made a bunch of friends along the way. And here I am, stuck with them. But I guess they're all pretty great, so I don't regret it at all. The Lost are still a dire threat to the survival of humanity, but the new provisional government is at last on a course to stop them. Silva is pushing reforms to aid as many revenants as possible. I can finally get to the job of exploring the depths in earnest. You've been a great help. I must thank you. Oh, I nearly forgot. I have a message for you. <clears throat> uh, 
the provisional government would appreciate your cooperation. Please contact the government if you seek work with real meaning. Is that amber blood bead Eo gave you all right? It's a piece of her memory and a manifestation of her strength. Handle it with care. Karen and the others say it's made of the same substance as the weeping tree Eo gave us after taking on all the relics. It has the ability to alter the relic's influence, if only in a small way. This garbage heap may just have become a slightly better garbage heap. That means people have less use for what I'm selling. <laughs> I'm only joking. Don't worry about me. Do your thing, okay? <laughs>